Okay, so the Pi 400 is an excellent device with brilliant cooling on it. Uh, it's really nice and tidy, super slim, but there's nowhere to put an SSD drive. Well, there is a solution. And it was sent to me by James Spaulding, who is the creator of this. And uh, it is basically a, a, an SSD storage inside a Pi 400 case. And uh, if we have a look through, well, I'll be showing this in a minute anyway, uh, but here you can see a two and a half inch drive inside the case. And I think I've got everything I need printed out. I've also got some screws in a size that I didn't have before. Uh, and I've also got a tap set, uh, which I needed to be able to create the threads. So I need to take my Pi 400 apart, which I have done before um, to do various different videos. Uh, and it just sort of clips apart. Go all the way up through, no screws needed. Obviously do all this sort of stuff at your own risk. And then this can lever off. See the keyboard bit here, just flip this up. And this comes out. So that is the keyboard. And then we've got four screws to remove to remove the heatsink. Do I need to lever it off the CPU? Oh, there you go, it's come. So we've got a thermal pad here. And then you've got the Pi 400 board. I always like looking at the Pi 400 board. It's such a cool design because obviously everything is all in one place. And we can have a nice close look across it. Seeing all the bits and the components. And they just this just clips out. There's some clips here and here. There we go. That is the Pi 400. So here's an M3 tap. Uh, which I can pop into uh, which bit do I need so that goes in here it's going to be this one here so let's twist that around and see if I can create a thread so now let's put this bit together so this goes into here and you can see this one goes into here which is the one I've just tapped so let's screw that into place so now the heatsink needs to go up and line up with these two screws yeah that looks right let's pop these two in yeah that's gone in fine so I've had to Dremel out this uh, USB size hole uh, for the cable basically. So this goes, must be this way around, and the cable's gonna come out through here and I've just made it big enough for this to go through. So let's screw this together. On the official link, which I'll put in the description, there is much more detail on this. I'm just sort of glossing through it because I just wanna see how it looks and uh, how functional it is. But it looks like it's gonna be really cool so far. So that cable is going to come out of here and then obviously plug back into the Pi. So I can route it round here and plug it into one of the USB 3 sockets which is going to be here. Okay, so let's spin that around and pop this on the top. I do need to print out, I didn't print out this front bit. Uh, I don't know how I missed that. There was a load of 3D printing files and I did it over the course of several days. Yeah, so that looks like that's going to be all right. Pop that back into there and screw all this down in place. That is great. So even without all these extra screw bits in, it still feels nice and solid, but you can see how everything fits in. Okay, I think that's in place. I'll pop these bits down. Yeah, so I'm going to have to print out these bits that hold the keyboard down. You can see this is like a clip that goes on here and here and also a clip that goes on the front as well and I might as well print the front bit while I'm at it because that's going to be a lot nicer so I think I'll I think I'm going to plug it in and see if it works first of all okay keyboard's working let's log in yeah it's all booted up fine uh, so I just need to print out those extra bits okay so those four bits are all done I just did it together in one print Okay, I figured I do need to print the front clamp for the keyboard. I have to say, that is super impressive. Now it's all put together. It's so lovely and neat. Uh, it's, it looks really nice from all angles, uh, especially as I've done it all in this grey. I think it's a really nice colour for it. Um, and everything lines up pretty decent as well. Right, let's boot it up again. So excellent work by James Spaulding. Uh, everything's working fine. Uh, so if I was to type in, say, Imager, you can see that it launches and all the keyboard feels really nice. It feels really solid. I need to put some rubber feet on the base of it um, because 
It's a bit slidey, but with rubber feet, it's gonna feel really, really solid. I am super impressed with this. It looks great. Uh, it's really, really practical. And uh, yeah, big improvement to the Pi 400. So I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.